Welcome to episode two of Major Detour, a short series leading up to this year's PGA Championship held at TPC Harding Park. Today, in episode two, we take a closer look at Cypress Point, often cited as the best golf course in the entire world. Locals will tell you the grand finale of 17 Mile Drive lies in the fairways of Cypress Point. From the road, anyone with a car can take a sneak peek at one of the most exclusive, breathtaking experiences in golf. Although the preferred lie did not play Cyprus when this footage was captured, it is too good to keep from our community. We hope you enjoy the scenery, nature, and outstanding design by Alistair McKenzie. After the opening par 4 with a tee shot over 17 mile drive, a fantastic right to left par 5 second hole, and a short downhill par 3 third, Cypress Point's 383 yard par 4 fourth hole is deceiving to say the least. Although bunkering looks intimidating from the tee, from this vantage point, you'll see that there's in fact some room between the traps. The green, known as one of the most treacherous on the golf course, slopes heavily from back to front, urging golfers to keep the ball below the hole at all costs. In the distance, you can see the downhill par 5 6 as well as the uphill par 3 7 the 7th being the perfect transition from the parkland landscape to the Lynx experience golfers will enjoy the rest of the way home. In the foreground of this shot, you can see the final par 5 10 and the par 4 11 which is arguably the most difficult par 4 on the golf course. Off to the right, we can see two of the finest short par 4s in golf, holes 8 and 9. And as we head towards the Pacific Ocean, Holes 12 and 13 provide a great sense of anticipation before the true fun begins. The par 4 14th measures just under 400 yards from the back tee, featuring an insanely narrow opening for the second shot. Driver is not the play here as you can find yourself in the cypress grove on the right hand side. It is crucial to avoid being blocked out for this uphill second shot. At 135 yards, some call the 15th their favorite one-shotter in the world. The front left portion features severe slope back to front and off the left, mounding in addition to stunning views to give this par 3 its world-class reputation. At 233 yards and with little margin for error, the 16th at Cyprus is known as one of the toughest par 3s in the world. Mackenzie thoughtfully provided a bailout area short and left of the green, giving shorter hitters a chance at making par. Seals and pelicans are common sightings here. At 386 yards and with the Pacific all along the right hand side of the fairway, the 17th exemplifies true golf strategy. Pure genius in the design here, Alistair Mackenzie provides a better approach shot angle the closer the golfer hits their tee shot to the Pacific. Tee shots struck to the left hand side of the fairway will face blind approach shots and beware of a large cliff short and right of the green. This design places a serious emphasis on distance control and the approach shot. Often criticized as a weak finishing hole, the 18th at Cypress serves up a twist and turn and dramatic elevation change with a raised green for the approach shot. Despite playing only 343 yards from the back tee, we could see this hole regularly serving up bogeys. 